G'day everyone, it's Angelo Ramora here. I'm your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo bringing you another vlog. And today I'm asking all of you this question. Do you know if you're cut out to succeed in real estate? Well, let me tell you the answer. Let's get it started. So guys, for those of you that do not know me too well, and for those of you that do know me too well, I'm sorry for, for being a broken record here and repeating the same stuff over. But um, look, I wanna share with everyone that I'm not the smartest guy out there, okay? I quit school at a very young age, so I lack the basic skills that a lot of you watching this video have right now. Um, I can't really read too well. My typing is pretty poor. My writing is very poor. My grammar skills suck and my math skills are even worse. So thank God for the calculator because otherwise I'd be lost. But why am I saying these things? Um, it's pretty simple, because if I can do it, so can you, okay? So that's the first little thing that I wanna share with you. And the second thing, guys, is this. Over the years of, of running various successful real estate companies, um, being around the block, been there, done that, made money, lost money, um, you know, I think that I'm very well-rounded and versed in the different real estate strategies. Um, you know, I was able to speak to a ton of investors, okay, throughout my cycle as a real estate investor. And a lot of investors have seen what I've done and achieved, and they're all coming to me asking for advice on how they can do similar things to what I have, or how they can do a specific thing in this strategy or that strategy, and blah, 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 right? And I've stopped responding. I, I do not respond to anyone, and um, I'll tell you why, guys. First of all, I do not recall anyone in my life cycle as a real estate investor that has been persistent and reached out to me more than once asking for advice. Normally, um, someone emails me, calls me, texts me, Facebook messages me, messages me online in, on, via any platform, and if I don't respond, that's it. I never hear from them. So um, talk is cheap, guys. I mean, honestly, talk is very, very cheap. And I have seen way too many people talk the talk, but never willing to do any work. So how do you know if you're cut out to succeed in real estate? Um, and, and you know, this is my, my um, answer to you. First of all, guys, you have to be willing to do whatever it takes. And, and I mean, you have to be willing to make huge sacrifices. Sacrifices that your entire family is not gonna understand what the hell you're doing and why you're doing it. You're probably gonna lose a lot of your friends. You're gonna be, you know, your, your family's gonna disown you and they're just gonna think you're an absolute nut job. You know, why I'm saying this is because similar things happened to me. I packed up my bags, moved from Australia, Sydney, Australia, beautiful country, you know, to Kansas City initially, and then I progressed to Toledo, Ohio, out of all of the places, you know, in pursuit of my dream, which was financial freedom and, and creating something bigger and better than myself. Um, so guys, sacrifice, is, is something that you're gonna to have to make. And I see way too many people that want to achieve success in real estate, that want financial freedom, that want to make a lot of money, but they aren't willing to make the sacrifices. They are too comfortable and satisfied and happy living on the East Coast, living on the West Coast, having close proximity to restaurants, shops, amenities, nightclubs, bars, the beach, you know, all of these amazing things that life offers, but they still wanna be getting 10, 15, 20% returns on investment. And then as soon as I say, move to the Midwest, oh no, I can't do that, my wife won't let me, my kids go to school here, blah, 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 blah. Guys, I get it, trust me, it's not for everyone, but my honest opinion is that unless you are willing to make a sacrifice, you will never achieve financial freedom or success in real estate, period. So that's kind of the first thing. The second thing is this, um, hard work. Man, do, I get asked by so many people, Angelo, you know, what's the magic recipe? You know, you must be really good at something. And I was like, oh, not really. I, I'm still to this day, I'm struggling to figure out what I'm actually good at. I, I don't know what I'm good at, guys. I, I really don't. Like, you know, and, and I guess I came to a conclusion where I'm good at being the X factor. And what is an X factor? I still don't know what an X factor is, but look, I, I'm this crazy eccentric Australian guy that turns a lot of heads and that's kind of gone in my favor. So that's the only really thing that I'm good at is being loud, rude, and, and I have an Aussie accent. <laughs> no, but guys, look, one thing that I've done from day one and one thing that I still do to this day, um, you know, I love being an underdog and, and no one expects much from me, 
because of you know all of the basic skills that I lack. But guess what? I'm willing to do whatever it takes and I will work longer and harder than anyone. And that has pretty much been the recipe to my success. I'm in the office by 6 a.m. every morning. I do not finish until 7 or 8 p.m. I work Saturday, Sunday, and I just rinse and repeat, guys. I put in the hours. I commit to getting the job done. Um, whatever I say I'm gonna do, I do it. Um, so look, guys, all of you out there that are looking for any kind of advice, I'm happy to share everything that I know. I'm happy to share all of my secrets. Um, but the reality is whatever I tell you, you're probably not gonna implement it because I have not seen anyone to date implement any piece of advice that I've given them. And I practice what I preach. I've done it, I'm gonna keep doing it. And I, I just keep getting bigger and better every single year. And a lot of the people that have come to me over the years asking for advice and I freely offered it, you know, no one's really taken it and, and taken the bull by the horns and achieved anything with it, which is very unfortunate to me. I'd love nothing more than, than for someone to do better than I do and more than I do because I look up to other people's success. Um, and it pulls me up, right? It pulls me up. Other people's success, who's doing bigger and better things than me, pulls me up with them. Um, guys, you know, summarizing everything, another thing that I, that I really want to stress to you, which I think is very, very important, and um, I, I don't want to ramble on here, but I think this is very, very, very important. Uh, something that I've realized recently is a lot of investors think, you know, investing in real estate is going to be easy that you know, they can just throw a, you know, a bag of cash at an investment and that it's just gonna start you know, throwing 10 bags of cash back at them. Guys, it doesn't work like that. There's a lot of ups, there's a lot of downs. It's a roller coaster of a ride. You have to be prepared for that. You, know, you are going to go through a hurricane for the first one, two, three, four, five years, maybe even longer, until you figure the hell out what you're doing and things get easier for you. It does happen over time, you, you get more experienced, you understand what to do and how to do it, you surround yourself with the right people, you can outsource a lot of the roles that you have to initially do yourself, and then things start to get better. You, know, you also have to build a large portfolio um, because one or two properties is not gonna make you rich and it's not gonna give you financial freedom. It's gonna take a lot more than that, um, in my opinion. Um, and and you know, I guess summarizing everything, start your journey only when you can afford to lose the amount of money that you're looking to invest. You know, I've come across a lot of investors that will go all in with every single penny, and if things kind of don't work out for them, um, they say, I'm never, gonna, I'm never gonna do this again. Well, guys, if you try and cook and you burn yourself on the stove and you never cook again, well, you're gonna starve to death, you're not gonna eat, right? Um, so I, I honestly think that, you know, no matter how many times you fail, and no matter how, you know, um, the tough, uh, uh, times, no matter, no matter how <laughs> tough times get, there's always another day, another door will always open. Pick yourself back up, keep moving forward. Um, and there is no doubt in my mind, if you work as hard as I do, forget about talent, forget about education, work hard, make the sacrifice, and I guarantee you, you will succeed. So guys, look, that's my you know motivational, inspirational, I hope I pumped you up um, with this video. Um, hey, any questions? Um, please comment below. I would love to hear from you. But that's pretty much it for today. I'm Angela Ramora. I'm your favorite Australian and the real estate dingo. I'll catch you in the next vlog.